So I am at the McDonald's. This is like my second office now. Today I'm here with Mike. How you doing? Hey there. We're doing a heavy hitting trade here. Hold on, gotta get the light. Can't see crap in here in the trunk. This is how I do my business now, out in the, the trunk. So we got a, a big old box of knives. And the focus here really is on this Spyderco, all right? A knife you said you wanted for a while? Over 10 years. 10 years, it's happening tonight. So you guys may or may not remember Mike. Um, I don't think, we, we didn't do a video the first time, we came here in a, uh, a snowstorm. Yeah, last right? year's snowstorm. So this whole package here is for this, which is my original bar of silver. This is a 100 ounce uh, Atmax bar. So, I mean, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm excited because I sold that out of necessity. I had to pay taxes and stuff, you know, and it, it just, it is what it is, but yeah. I, I'm happy to get it back finally. So, and I'm giving up a bunch of knives for it, but I'm, I'm hoping you're happy and I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's pretty exciting. I'm not gonna go through all the knives in here. Um, the Spyderco, Spiderfly is obviously the biggest one, but we've got some other, other really cool knives. We're just looking at the, the bailout. We gave Mike the uh, prototype bailout. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's the, the gist of it. If you ever come to McDonald's, look in the parking lot. I might be doing a deal or something. This is, this is by far the most expensive deal though I've ever done. Oh, I, really? I've done, yeah, I've done like $1,500 trades, a couple of higher end stuff, but this is about $2,650, something like that, $2,650 worth of knives. Silver spot today is 22 and change. Um, but I'm just paying it forward because I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate all the videos too. Yeah, thank you. I gotta ask, how tall are you? Six seven. Six seven. So here's a funny story, real quick, because I, I keep I keep showing you chest because I'm like at I here's the top of my head. <laughs> so here's the thing. I my entire life been six foot. So like last year, I was my wife had to do something and she I was measuring her. So I said, why don't you measure me too? Because I'm six foot. Let's just make sure, right? I'm like five, ten and a half. Uh, I realized my whole life I had shoes on measuring myself. Uh, so I, yeah. I've been living a lie this whole time. I thought I was six foot. I'm yeah, not. Yeah, no, I'm six seven with no yeah. shoes. Well, actually, right now it's not fair. I'm I'm standing on the curb. So now, <laughs> there you go. There's my my face. <laughs> Mike, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate Jack. it, man. Really, thanks for for driving out, Jersey boy. Sadly. Yeah. I, uh, I miss Jersey. Uh, my wife, I turned her on to uh, Taylor Ham Mega Cheese. Yeah. Well, here's the big question. Taylor Ham or Pork Roll? Uh, Taylor Ham, just because I'm North Jersey. South Same Jersey here. Difference, difference I, I'm literally part of a, uh, a Jersey sandwich group on Facebook, and there's constant wars. Because oh, South yeah. Jersey guys are Pork Roll, you're stupid if you call it Taylor Ham, and vice versa. It's crazy. It's it is crazy. Pointless. It's the same thing. I like Taylor Ham brand, though. It's kind of like Coca-Cola yeah. versus RC. Anyway, that is not, most of you guys watching have no idea what the hell we're talking about. So anyway, that is it. Big old box of knives in the dark in uh, McDonald's parking lot. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate Thanks, you Jeff. stopping out and doing the stream with me. Of course. And that's pretty much it. Maybe we'll take a look at that again, although I already have a video on it, so who knows. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care. All right, so I figured I'd put this in at the end of this video just because I've shown this before, so it doesn't need a whole separate video. Uh, but yeah, this is just a 100 ounce silver bar from uh, Atmex. Now, originally I had this, uh, you know, wrapped in like cellophane. Uh, then I had it in like plastic wrap and stuff, but I don't really care. There's a little tarnishing already happening on here. Um, it's not a big deal. It doesn't affect the value all that much. But yeah, here it is. It's uh, it's 100 ounces. It's it's heavy. You know what I mean? It's If you've never held one of these in your hand, it, it's actually surprising how heavy these things are. But you can see... At max on there, it will wipe the fingerprints off, so you don't get a tarnished, you know, thumbprint or something. But you now, as far as like oxidization and coloring and stuff, I don't really mind that these days. But anyway, that's pretty much it. This is going to be uh, put in the ground. Um, I'm open about you know saying that I do bury <laughs> my treasure, like quite literally. Uh, I'll probably put this with uh, a little bit um, of other things too. You know, I'm not going to say exactly what. But this will be in the ground somewhere in, you know, the planet Earth. I could say it's in America. I'll give you that much. It'll definitely be buried in America somewhere. Uh, as opposed to going back into my tissue box. So if you haven't seen, you know, the other video or, or knew about that, I did have this hiding in uh, my tissue box for, I think it was at least a year. Uh, possibly two years, I forget. But anyway, that is all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.